Hello, everybody. Welcome to Don't Escape. Four days to survive. No, it's just nine days to survive. You don't know how to count. You all. So, yeah. <laughs> this is the final installment, as far as I know, to the Don't Escape series. Yep. The moon is gone. Earth's gone to shit. The tidal effects are devastating. And there's only four days left until the moon hits the Earth. Oh, so basically Dawn Escape plus Majora's Mask, The Legend of Zelda. Gotcha. Now, what <laughs> Which, by the way, fuck the game. <laughs> fuck that game, by the way. She's scared of it. She's scared of the moon. She's scared of the timer and the moon. Yeah. <laughs> and just everything about that game in general. So, this is our buddy. This is our guy. Deed to do. Let's open the door. It's locked. Okay, let's open the window. Oh shit. Oh. Bye, dude. I don't remember experiencing this one yet, believe it or not. <clears throat> Early. What a nightmare. It all felt so real. It's back back to gain access to your inventory. Check this out. We actually got an inventory now. <clears throat> huh. Just have to left of it now. What's that coming over the horizon? This cloud, it's green. I think my nightmare may have been more than just a dream. I still oh, have shit. a couple of hours, but I have to find shelter fast. Look at it coming over the fucking horizon that way. Right. Also, now we have a journal to check. I'll let you read that. November 1st, 1996. Been a while since I've written anything here. The world is dead, they say. So why even bother? I think the moon, what's left of it, is getting bigger every day. Had a dream last night that felt so real. There was this gas, corrosive burning. It could feel the skin and meat coming off my bones. This morning I saw a dark green cloud on the horizon heading this way. I have to find a place to hide. <coughs> Damn. It shattered, just like all the dr all the dreams humankind ever had. Sad. Sad, really. Yeah. Hey, at least we got a cool trench coat. Or d duster. Whatever it's called. Yep. Another ruin, slowly swallowed by the desert. Let's run, because we can actually run now. Okay. Your time is limited. It only advances with certain actions. We already know that. So let's go to the fence. That'll take, what, three minutes? Three First minutes. Out of the ground. There we go. And a sledgehammer head. So, obviously, we're going to bust that wall down. Yep. There you go. It's some sort of quicksand. I'm too heavy. I should get rid of that sledgehammer. No more sledgehammer. Dang. We're going. The vast desert lies ahead. It's a long walk, though you have no other way to traverse it. This actually will take 50 minutes. Damn, he's Holy a quick shit. walker. Yeah. <laughs> I also, this one has like a bajillion times more cinematic effort put into it. Yeah. It's so cool. All right. the games are cool. But man, this one. You're cool. Shh, you're cool. <laughs> you sure are cool. I dare Holy you shit. Should. Look at him go. Right. Honestly, the fact that he hasn't offed himself. Right. Like probably half of the civ fucking civilization on Earth. Well, this place looks promising. <clears throat> Let's go to the house. Yeah. It's locked. I have to break that glass if I want to get inside. Alright, well, let's find something to break the glass. The glass. <laughs> Ooh, a water sprayer. Give me that. Yoink. Probably Yoinkus. don't even need it, but I'm taking it anyways. That's <laughs> locked too. Okay, let's go over here. 
What's your tractor got for us? Much sped out in the open, took a stole on the tractor. It's completely ruined. There isn't even anything to salvage. Shit. <laughs> nice truck. Is that pipe? There's big holes in this pipe. Yeah? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> they're giving us all different things to work with. Those are for different sections, it's different parts of the story. Right now, I think we just need to seal up the place. And what better way to seal up the place than to... Break my glass? Yeah. This place looks abandoned. Yeah. <laughs> Staying here might be a good idea, but I only have a few hours to convert this ruin into a fortress before my nightmare catches up with me. Should look around. You're Found and then, like a good place to stay. I should go out, explore down the road, and look for something to fortify the place with. <laughs> Kindling box is empty. Painting of an old fashioned wooden hut somewhere in the wilderness. Hmm, I wonder where that comes from. Surely. Right. That's totally not the house from Don't Escape 1. Nah, no, couldn't be. Nah, I don't think so. I think you're crazy. Crazy indeed. Fireplace is empty, only some ashes from the previous uses are scaled. I think the chimney's clogged, I don't feel any air draft. It's actually good news, at least for now, yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> pretty window. <laughs> Me, pretty window, you- <laughs> You're cute. Why do you mean? That's cute. What's in the no. fridge? <laughs> the fridge is empty, after such a long time without electricity. I'm relieved to know that. Take the towel, take the keys, <coughs> and loach the door. Take the bee's knees. Well, should I unlock the door? Nah! There's no point. Nah. What's the point of unlocking the door? What if the, what if the corrosive gas gr grows a hand or something? It's like... Right. And then kills you, and then you're like, shit, I shouldn't have opened the door, and I'm like, told yeah. you, and then you're like, uh, -uh and then like... <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Okay. okay, so that's not working. <coughs> Another towel. You talking to me? I can see each and every day spent on the wasteland reflected in this face. Damn. Alright. Poor guy. Alright. Alright, let's go outside and do some skiddly doodling. But first, wait a minute. Skiddly doodly? You're cute. Shh. No, you shush. No. Uh -uh. Yeah. Okay, Stinky. So let's do the cool thing here and let's put all this shit away. Maybe take the pipe with us in case we need to beat some ass, you know. Clock someone in the head with it. Yep. Climb you never know. You never know. It's what I said, you never know. No, you never know. No, you never know, you stinky. Also, uh, which way do you, do you think we should go? I'll let you. I like. I like to let you make choices too. Uh, right. Okay. To the east we go. That'll take us about fifteen minutes to go that way. Sure. Where? God. Corpses are burnt in a really nasty way. The toxic cloud got to them. Looks like they were wearing yeah. hazmat suits, but the chemicals were too strong. Take the gas mask. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Ignition coil, but won't get that out too easy. Okay. <clears throat> Small leaflet in the pouch of the suit. Attention, citizens of today, 1996, November 11. <clears throat> Civil Defense has an organization that's being disbanded. Evacuate the area, protect yourself from your own, on your own from now on. 
provision has been affected by highly toxic ga gas clouds. We are unable to or unwilling to evacuate. Take cover indoors. Higher on the upper floor. If the contaminated gas density is higher than normal air density, otherwise higher than the ground floor. Air density is around 1.61 kilograms. God have mercy on us all. Alright, so okay. that's really important. <clears throat> You smart son of a bitch. Finally, a smart protagonist. All right. <clears throat> Not from these games. All the protagonists are smart, but I like this. Me. If the gas in C is higher than 1.61, I should see on the upper floor. Otherwise, I should see on the ground floor. What else can I do to prepare? Oh, we're going <clears throat> to go to the car wrecks, then. Tell a freaking skeleton you said this. Uh. <laughs> it's going uh. And all right. Well, there seems to be nothing else we could do here. Nope. Well. Forty-five minutes. That's. Yeah, I think you're fine. I got like eleven hours to prepare, anyways. So right. Yeah. Yeah. To the destroyed bridge. A weather drone? What the fuck? What the hell? Damn. Intercepting, what an anomaly, and not analyzing something, something fucking stupid shit. <laughs> Low power emergency touchdown. Density 1.63. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> that's, exact, that's exactly what I said. What do you mean? So we should stay on the upper floor because it's 1.63. E. Is that shovel? Fuck. Good job, genius. You broke it. <laughs> <laughs> I just start roasting you for like zero reason. I know, right? It'll take three minutes to get across, sure, why not? I can just teleport there. <laughs> right? To the <laughs> gas station. Like, looks funny. Just, looks like you just straight up just teleported. Lunar explosion. The world is still in shock after the yesterday's explosion that has left our moon with huge cracks visible to the naked eye from Earth. It's time to say that while it may look dangerous, there is no need for concern. The cracks are surface level only, and the explosion will have no serious moons. Like, yeah, right. <clears throat> the cause of the event is still unknown. Many point to one of the world's largest tech corporations. Side rail plexus that was rumored to launch a mining operation on the moon earlier this year. A spokesman from the company has denied those claims. Yes, we were preparing to dig for helium this autumn, but I assure you we haven't even started. <clears throat> now, of course, the whole operation is going to be halted until further notice, he adds. Now, the experts believe that the, the explosion was caused by an undetected meteor that crashed into the moon. Whatever the case might be, the governments of the world urge people to remain calm. <clears throat> yeah. A crowbar? There's also a gun on the floor. Yee. Five minutes only. Of course. Dollar bills. Never know it's gonna be worth something again someday. Sure, why the fuck not? <laughs> that's my fault. Yep, that's always good. Now gonna take the gas. Nah. Yeah. It's over here by the truck. A small rock. Alright. So this seems fairly simple. We just go on the... Um, we just stick to the upper floor, really. Yeah. I mean, I'm still gonna prop up the window a little bit, unless I don't have what I need to. Okay. Okay. 
I will need that crowbar, though. I'm oh, sorry, we will need that crowbar. <laughs> Eat. Because that crowbar can let us into a very funny little truck that we were having trouble with earlier. Already? Yeah. You're a funny little truck. <laughs> You're yeah, my funny truck. No, you. Uh... The back door is locked. The back door is locked. That's why we have a crowbar. <laughs> oh, okay. What's all this? Got a hazmat suit at least. I have a hazmat suit that'll rip for protection. Is there anything else I could do? Locked. Well, good thing you have that crowbar now, isn't it? <gasps> Duct tape. Man's best friend. What does that say? Jeff, you're new on the team, but I think you'll do just fine. Despite what our boss is, always remember to check the pH value of the thought toxin you're trying to neutralize. Mix two of our emergency response components and dissolve the resulting. Solution in a large amount of water. And then some bullshit math. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay. So. I should have brought that fucking drone with me now that I'm thinking about it. Probably. Well. I think you're fine. I'm taking the drone with me. Putting the hazmat suit in here. Duct tape in here. The funny note I gotta keep with me. And the big ol' flisk! The big ol' flisk! <laughs> what the fuck? Flisk! That doesn't No. Well, fuck you. No. Dig it. No. -uh. No. Uh -huh. No. -uh. Thank you. Okay, the pH uh -huh. is two, so we have to neutralize the pH of two. So we just put A and B. Gotcha. No, it's A and C. A. B. And A B C D. B. <laughs> You're cute. No. -uh. All right. We got we got the funny yellow liquid. We got the piss liquid now. <laughs> Some thoughts was our character just peed in the in the bottle. Fight acid with acid, genius. <laughs> Imagine. I'd lose my fucking mind, honestly. <laughs> like he didn't actually like do the funny thing. He just peed in the bottle. Yep, this will work. <laughs> okay, this can fuck off. Uh, hammer with a broken handle. I'll fix it. There you go. Hey. Um... <sighs> you know what? What? You might be right about something that I didn't even think of. What? <coughs> oh. oh, sneezing like a kitten, okay. No! <laughs> Let's get into the gas station. Get that can of fuel. Told you. Did you listen to me? No. no. Oh no, I forgot the freaking wrench. Now I gotta go back to the house. Get the oh my God. I'm wasting so, so much fucking time. We're so dead. I know, right? We're so, We're so of dead. You. We're so fucked. We are so absolutely fucked. <laughs> okay. Now we don't get it from the gas tank. You see, what we gotta do is go right there. And while the gas tank goes pee. No, wait, put it there. No. Put it there. And let it go pee in the gas tank. There. It went pee in the gas tank. Okay. Good. <sighs> and now we're gonna leave. We're gonna go home. And we're gonna prepare for all the bullshit to come. Yep. 
Seems to be dead. I think it's powered by a big generator next to it. I can use this to add something to the water that'll be pumped into the sprinklers. Okay. So I think we have an idea of what to do. You sure? Yep. First of all, we got the funny liquid. Second mm -hmm. of all, we got the funny hazmat suit. Generator fuel, and we get the duct tape. Maybe the short pipe, too. And... What about the... The, spr the water sprayer, probably, too, yeah. And the what about the... Bubble wrap? Whatever. That'll put on the window when I get back inside. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then watch you, like, missing one more thing. Probably. More than likely. <laughs> Alright, let's fix the pipe with the freaking tape. Flex tape. This will take five minutes. Yep, it's flex tape. <laughs> I put Thursday. enough duct tape on here to mess until the end of time. Well, until Thursday, that is. Now it's time to put the funny fuel in the generator. <clears throat> So, water pump. Yeah. Try it again. Come on. There we go. Yay! Good. Now the funny water pump. I'm gonna put the funny juice into the top. There we go. Now we take the hazmat suit. No, he does it on his own, actually. Wait, I forgot. Oh, he does? He's one of the smart characters where it's just like, Oh, I didn't put it on while I was in the thing, so now I'm gonna die. It's not stupid like that, thankfully. That's why I like these characters. Alright. Oh, yeah. Character- Sorry, I didn't mean to say characters. Uh... <laughs> okay, so all these can go in here. Now, for that extra little bit of security, right? Mm -hmm. Put the funny plate paper on the window. <clears throat> it's just hanging there. No, it's not. You got the funny duct tape. 20 minutes? Yep. Shoot. <laughs> Any oh, other windows you need to double check on? Ah, it's all plastic on the windows. Will this be enough? Double the, double the plastic wrap. I wish. Well, like an executioner X. Damn. Spooky. Right? What about the papers? There was a paper clip holding several sheets of paper together. Documents of cell don't hold anything useful information, just some invoices for farming equipment. I keep calling them in offices for some reason. Why do I always say in offices? You're cute, that's why. No! Oh, I got Inky. Oh, he's an Inky. Oh, he's an Inky. Oh, he's an Inky. Oh, you're cry. You can cry. You know, <laughs> just just to be doubly safe. Yeah. Will this, Will be, this enough? be enough? I think we can advance time. Okay. You think? Here goes nothing. What about the attic? Wait. Can't okay. go into the attic, sadly. Ah. Uh. Wear a hazmat suit. Evening sky darkened when the toxic cloud of the the, the gas arrived. You found a hiding place in an abandoned farmhouse. The front door was closed, however it was not airtight. It stopped four percent of the cloud. Oh I didn't even think of that! Oh shit. Oh shit. Back door was closed, however not airtight, it stopped four percent of the okay, so there's eight percent in the house. Went on the ground floor was covered with plastic wrap, the floor was attached to the thing with a lot of duct tape. That window stopped eight percent of the incoming that gas cloud. Oh shit! The window never closed up. Damn it! The floor was attached to the thing with a lot of duct tape. And that oh, window stopped eight percent of the incoming cloud. The bathroom window was not blocked at all. Oh, shit! The window stopped zero percent of the incoming cloud. The other gas was inside. Seventy-six percent of the initial cloud penetrated the hide out. We stayed on that before the gas was heavier than the air, so some of it twenty percent didn't affect you. The hazmat suit was faulty, there was a hole oh. in it, and it was, oh fuck. Oh. So it only stopped 10% of the oh fuck.
Right from the get go, I didn't look good. There was too much gas. 46 six percent of the car car. He just begins to begins to burn his mouth. Did you die? <laughs> Did you get to bleed out with sizzling blood? Break. Oh. There was some shit. Okay, thank goodness they just start us off right here. Okay. Yeah. Hole's been covered. Good. There was something about an air filter? Air filter. You have an air filter in your thing, yeah. Okay, new air filter. This time, I'm not gonna be so stupid. I'm gonna fucking go get the last piece of plastic. You don't know, you know what? Don't even need to. I, I just need to airtight the doors and that's it. Yeah. What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> Is there any more bubble wrap in the... Well, time to go back to the gas station. Yeah. <clears throat> like I said, I've played this before. I know this gives me no, the no. one scenario I haven't tried yet. <laughs> Uh, might, might as well take this one here too, right? Take both, yeah. You never know. What about the charcoal? Take it too, yeah. Shit. It's just yeah. too heavy. Eh, it's fine. You don't need it. You're right. Who needs Who needs to stay warm? Right? We can just light the place on fire. That'll, that'll keep us nice and warm. Right. <laughs> I don't know how to make the door airtight, but <laughs> whatever yeah. the case. At least the, the very, at the very most, like the bathroom window should be. Yeah. But well, can you use the fencing on the doors? I don't know. We can try. The one. The fencing order. No, because it's all, it's all holy. That's more for defense. You're holy. Oh yeah, well, you got a hole. So there. You do. Will this be enough? All right. Surely this is enough. Hopefully. Take the fixed hazmat suit. Okay. Yep. Yep. Four percent. Four percent. Okay. Blah 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 blah. Eight percent. Blah 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 blah. Eight percent. Another eight percent. Blah blah blah. Eight percent. Sixty-eight percent of the squad. Blah blah blah. Okay. Twenty percent didn't affect you. Fully operational, so in its top 40% of the cloud. Oh shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Despite your efforts, you learned the, the same the smell and taste of toxins. 8% of the cloud reached your body, burning it and making you vomit whenever you had to. Whatever you had in your stomach. That glue wasn't enough to kill you. Holy <laughs> shit. Jesus. Exhausted and barely conscious, you were barely able to reach the bed. Ooh. Plus one hour time must be added to the next day cloud. Damn. Here she comes. I mean, who? Don't worry about it. Yeah, they can't have their- oh, sh well. Well, that's one way to wake you up, shit. <laughs> okay, what's the nightmare today? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh dear. Bleh. The scun- the sun is going fucking berserk. Bleh. You saw it through the room you were woken up by a tremendous crash. You barely registered as your heavy eyelids opened, closed again, and other and other radar bombs. Right there. Where? Oh, wait, don't shoot. Who are you? Who are you up there the whole time? Up there? You mean the attic? No, I've just crashed into it. I mean, landed. Emergency landing, you know. Sorry for destroying your house. This is not really my house. Cool. I wasn't actually sorry. Well, fuck you too, then, lady. Hey, you think you can lower that gun now? I mean, you know, harm. Hmm. You look harmless, alright. Thanks. My name is David. Catherine. Or just Kate. You're gonna like her. Are you sure? Right now, I don't. I <laughs> think you can help me with something, David. These aren't the only ones we meet, too, by the way. How oh, can really? I say no to a pretty lady with a loaded gun in her hand? Yeah, fair enough. I'm trying to get somewhere. 
An outpost. What kind of outpost? The one that could help me leave this place, leave this world. Are you sure you didn't hit your head during that crash? They have a spaceship. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I still have this gun, you know? <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious about the spaceship? Dead serious. <laughs> Side wheel, Plexus, the corporation, they own the large whole suite of fleets. I can read. I love you. When things get nasty, they use the ship to make me their top research and some of the richest people off the planet. Shh. I know for a fact there is still one ship left on Earth, and I plan on using it to escape. You can come with me if you want. Wait a minute. That's an awful lot to process. Listen, I can take you there, and you'll see for yourself. Uh. Oh, is that to like ask her about shit? The moon. Take the moon. Sorry, I had to disappear for a sec. Do you think the moon's gonna destroy the Earth? I don't think it. I know it. The moon's orbit has been unstable even since the incident. I've noticed lately it's been getting bigger every day. Yes, it's going to fall down and wipe everything out. Damn. It's going to turn the whole planet into a big ball of molten lava. Nothing can survive, no matter how deep and tough of a shelter you have. Do you know one? In three or four more days. What? Right? I thought it was more like years away. I'm sorry. But that's the main reason we have to get out of the spaceship. Or get to the- I know I read it, I promise. Who are you exactly? Just the girl trying to survive. Okay, but what's with the spaceship, the outpost, and all that stuff? You seem to know a lot. Listen, I'm a person that's going to escape this hole before it goes to hell. <laughs> with or without you. There's a pickup truck in the barn. Are you trying to impress me or something? <laughs> well, we could use it to get to that outpost of yours. I guess we could. But it requires some parts before it can be started. When you find those parts, I can help you with the repairs. A spaceship. So, uh, what kind of spaceship is it? Like, a giant arc that could travel between stars like in the movies? No, nothing like that. It's a small ship, capable of getting to Earth's orbit. But that should be enough. What happens next once we reach orbit? There's... a space station. You're not making it all up as you go, are you? I'm telling you, there is a space station where everyone went. You motherfucker! <laughs> that's <laughs> our destiny. I feel like that's like something she would totally say. Right. <laughs> like, she, like she sounds kind of getting like annoyed with him. But don't worry about that for now. <laughs> First, we have to survive for long enough to actually get there. So, what is this outpost of yours? It's a small research facility with a spaceship I launched before. Okay, or where is before. it? I don't know. What <laughs> do you mean? You said you can take me there. <laughs> That's <not> great. <laughs> yeah, but it's not that easy. Why? All the helicopters and navigation system got smashed to bits when I crashed, and this outpost doesn't exactly have a bright neon arrow pointing to it. The fact that it remains a hard to locate place is the only chance of finding a ship still there. So, what do we do then? We have to find it at some point. Let's try to stay alive until we do. I know that this might sound weird, but I had a bad dream yesterday, and it came true. A cloud of deadly gases moved through this area, killing everything in its path. Well, the dream almost came true because I died in that dream. In reality, I took it as a warning and prepared myself for the threat. A dream, you say? Yeah, I know, but I'm not making that up. It really was some sort of prophetic dream. It saved me because I knew it was what to expect. I don't even believe in stuff like that. I'm not a crazy person. I do believe in dreams. This dreams conversation is a very important thing, by the way. You do? Oh, okay. You. 
Yes. Does it make me a crazy person? I don't know. But I think sometimes dreams can guide us or help us find a solution that we otherwise cannot find. So tonight I had another dream. I was still here in this house, and all of a sudden there was a heat surge. I got so hot it killed me on the spot. I think this might happen tonight. I must sound like a lunatic, I know, but trust me, I know I'm right. We're gonna find out ourselves if you're right. I don't know. Maybe looking at it will give you a clue where that outpost could be. Mm, no, sorry. However. What? While flying over this area, I saw some places that looked interesting. Here, let me mark them for you. Okay, so let's see. There was a restaurant off to the west. There was also this house right there. I think someone lives there. Maybe this information will turn out to be somewhat useful. Okay. Let's go then. We should prepare for your prophecy. And what about that outpost? It's out there. We'll keep a lookout for it. And that is all the time we actually have for this episode. So thank you everybody for watching. Bye. And uh, take care. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.